and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And this is a show where we demystify technology, specifically things that you like to poke with your finger, and including the iPad. You know, we've done stuff about the iPad before. You know what the iPad is. You know, Apple's brand new tablet computer. Yes. Taking the world by storm. Yes. And uh, you're very talkative today, Mr. Carruthers. No. No. <laughs> well, you know, so we, we kind of went over, you know, there's too much hype around it. How does it work? You know, some fun tips. But we thought, well, let's get on to advanced tips. You know, in the, once a device has been out for a while and you have a chance to explore, it's kind of fun to find the, the hidden features. Yeah, there's always hidden features inside uh, Apple's little devices. The iPhone has them. The iPod has them. This has them. And we decided, uh, Sean and I have kind of gone through and said, ah, oh, which ones do we love? And uh, so we're going to show you, uh, I don't know, six or seven or eight, nine maybe, uh, fun, uh, I don't know, fun some. tips. Some. Yeah. Ten. Well, more That's than five. Offer. More than five advanced tips for the iPad so you can have fun oh, with your iPad. Man. And if you don't, you can see what you're missing. If we only get to four, we've really blown it. That's true. It means you're going to be long-winded we'll, again. We'll do more than that. <laughs> All right. Speaking of the iPad, I have a fun little contest for you coming up. Let's take a break first. I'm going to come back. Uh, advanced iPad tips and an opportunity to win one of ten. Well, we, before we get on with this fantastic episode around advanced iPad features, I want to mention uh, how you can actually get your hands on one of 10 iPads for free. Yeah, for free. Uh, the uh, folks at, over at VeriSign, they're the keepers of the .com domains, uh, are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the .com with a contest on where, on where you can explain why .com has changed your life. Uh, over at howdoyou.com, and you can win with them one of 10 iPads, as I said, or up to 10,000 bucks, which would buy a whole lot more iPads if you really wanted them. Yes, sir. So you could have something to practice on your own personal iPad, all these advanced tips we're going to give you on this episode. Yes. So uh, how has .com changed your life, Mr. Carruthers? Well, the, uh, the .com site that, uh, that has really changed my life in, in one key area of my life is Flickr.com. Now, you know that I'm a photographer, an amateur photographer. I go out every weekend and take a bunch of pictures of things, and, you know, I want to share them with people. And up until Flickr, there wasn't a really easy way to, to share them. Now, there were sites like Photo Bucket and all of that, and it was not really easy to, to use those sites. Flickr was a great all-in-one site that allowed you to upload them all, tag everything, really sort through things really quickly and easily, share them to people, make them available through Creative Commons if you want. And uh, basically, I've put every single photograph I've taken on there. Well, not every one, but Saw a bug on your wife's ones. nose. Yes. That's very good. Yes, and you can, and look, uh, you can look at uh, my wife's uh, nose with a dragonfly on it at uh, flickr.com slash photos slash global hermit. There you go. How exciting is that? Dot Pretty com exciting. clearly changed his life. You would be eligible for one of uh, 10 iPads, I'm sure. But I've got one. But unfortunately, you are not available because uh, you're not you know, eligible because you uh, take money for advertising around this contest. So too bad for you. Oh, but I'm an affiliate. You are oh. an affiliate. But out there in Labrats land, you qualify. So zip on over to howdoyou.com, tell your story. You can either type it in or you can create a video. And you could win all that cash or all the, one of those iPads as well. So check it out. All right, so let's get on with the uh, iPad advanced tips, uh, starting with you, sir. Uh, what do you got first well, to start? First up, uh, the advanced tip that I've got is a lot of people don't realize is that this isn't actually an expandable device. As people were like moaning at the beginning, why isn't there USB on this? Why do they not have USB? Modern computers have USB. How can I attach anything to it? And you can't. You can do it through Bluetooth, first of all. But there's also this little baby here. It's, mm, uh, accessory. It's a USB dongle, part yeah. of the USB camera connection kit that you can get from Apple for about $30. But don't let that deceive you. Don't let that it's deceive you. It's not just about cameras. It's not just about cameras. You can use this for cameras. So if is you're, there an echo in here? No. It, <laughs> it is not just for cameras. Right. Wait, I heard it again. <laughs> so this has a USB uh, port on this one side here. Yeah. And uh, while this is theoretically designed to attach to the USB cable attached to your camera, yeah. you can plug this in like so, and now you can use it with other devices as well. So I've got uh, a microphone here from Blue Microphones, it's called the Yeti, and now you can actually just plug That's this in. It's a honking in. microphone. It is. It's, it's a good me. professional quality microphone, and now you can plug this in uh -huh. and fire up uh, an application here for recording. This is sideways here right now, but uh, now if I want to record on this, it's all coming through here. Very neat. And uh, very high quality. You can turn this into a podcast studio like this. Yeah. If you prefer, you can 
actually use it with a camera. So we've got the flip video here. We can yeah. actually plug this directly into the side here, and uh, and now it will transfer my videos over here. Hey, hey, as well. that's very cool. See, and you can see it's uh, firing over to the uh, the video and uh, and photograph app right now to to do just that. Right. So, but yeah, it's it's a full fledged USB port, and it connects to you know keyboards. It connects to this, and as long as it doesn't take too much power, you can use it with this. Although, even with a keyboard that might take more power, you can use a USB hub with this as well. That's a heck of an advanced tip. It is. It's a good one to start with. So, 30 bucks. Well, 100, 150 for the microphone and... Uh, 30 bucks to connect your kit? Yeah. Very good. All right. Available at your local Apple store, I'm sure. Available at uh, your local Apple store or not. You can definitely get it online. All right. All right, so let me show you. Uh, speaking of, uh, you know, we talked about your Flickr photos earlier. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you ever wanted to grab a photograph off of the web and uh, use it for your nefarious purposes on your iPad or uh, maybe use it as a wallpaper, let me show you how to do that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to click on, uh, going to go on the web there. And I'm going to zip on over here. And here I'm actually in, in Sean's Flickr account. You can see there's a picture of a moth that he's photographed here. Do you take a lot of pictures of bugs? I take pictures of bugs and birds and stuff. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to click on all sizes here so I can see the different size, um, size formats. Now, you, you should remember, too, that uh, if you're going to steal a photograph off of Flickr, you have to make sure that you're friends with the person that they've set it so you can. Uh, otherwise, you'll get these weird little black imported pictures. Yeah, you can. They, there's, um, it, Flickr does allow you to protect your images so people can't just rip them off like you're planning right, to do sure here. Sure, planning to do. Knave. Uh, but you can do this with any photograph that's not protected on the web. Uh, and all you're going to do is so you basically you call up the photograph on your browser, and you're going to touch it and hold down your finger. And you're going to get that save image or copy mode here. So I'm going to click on save image. And then uh, what it does is it puts it in my photo application. So if I click on over here to, on the photo app, there it is right there. And I have a copy of it on my iPad. I'm suing you. Yes, you for should. For sixteen million dollars. So a gorgeous picture of a bug. Um, now, what's cool about this here too is this. Up here in the right-hand corner, there's a little uh, kind of scoopy, arrowy thing. If you touch that, that's a technical term, by the way. Scoopy, arrowy yeah. thing. Uh, you touch it properly, then what it does is it gives you a the ability to make it a part of your wallpaper. So you can either email go. the photograph, use it as a wallpaper, or uh, again copy the photo for some other usage on the iPad, so let's just do that. Use this wallpaper. Come on. There we go. So now it's going to be, I guess, probably on my, let's see. Dee -dee -dee -dee. No, it's not on my wallpaper. Well, You've used an iPad before, right? I have, yeah. It says <laughs> it, says it uses a wallpaper. I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll put show notes up uh, around that. So that's my, uh, my advanced tip on how to steal photographs off the web with your iPad. All right. All right, my turn. Hey, what's your chair? Okay. By the way, by the way. All right, so the one thing that a lot of people don't realize with, uh, with the iPad and, and the iPhone, too, to a certain extent, is you have the ability to do keyboard shortcuts. Now, you know that there's an on-screen keyboard in here. So, for example, I want to go to a new website here. And let's type in, hit the bar. Uh -huh. All right, so we want to type in a new, uh, a new website. So we want to go to B. T T E R S C H, and we have this coming up, but let's just say that uh, it's butters. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to type in com. You can hit this right here, down here, where it says dot com, but yep. you know what? You do have the ability to just hold that down. And now a few other options come up here. So you've got uh, dot edu, dot uh, org, dot net. So it, it will you know, vary depending on what's available there. So you have, again, you. Hold it down, and then you can just slide over. So I want .org. So it'll change it to butters.com.org you know. <laughs> up there. But because uh, I hit .com earlier. The other thing, though, is that uh, you have alternative keys on pretty much all of these as well. So you know, if you're typing in Sweden, for example, you've got O's with. Uh, I type in Sweden a lot. By yeah. The way. So there you go. So if you want to get some of those characters, you don't have to change your keyboard settings. All you have to do is just hold down on it and then hold for a little bit and all of the other options will come up here. So we've got those. We've got uh, N here. So if you want the the Mexican N, that'll come up here. So there we go. Or I guess that would be Spanish. Uh, if you want uh, nachos. A. So you could you could do like a total heavy metal uh, here with uh, with all of the umlauts and whatnot. Hey Matt, we can spell Metallica properly. Woohoo! 
So there we go. So just hold down the, the keys when you're on the keyboard uh -huh. for alternative keys on there. There's all kinds of stuff, right? There's like even the, the, the numbers here, isn't there a, yeah, like so a percentage? Yeah, you got percentages. Okay. And if you uh, go to dollars, you hold down dollars. International uh, currency. And you get the international currency options. Again, if you hold it long enough. Dollar signs. Well, maybe not oh, in wait, here. Maybe not in URL. Okay, so no, there, you there you go. So you have just by holding things down, you get a little bit more than you thought was there. Super fabulous. Very good. I should right. like that tip. Uh, one thing I did notice though that if you change the international the keyboard to like a, a regional keyboard like Canada, the UK, mm -hmm. you know, British keyboard, mm -hmm. when you push that .com, it still says .dus. Uh oh. It doesn't say .ca .dot .co .uk or anything like that. It's a bug. Okay. All right. So let's. Let's move on to my next one. Let's see if this is correct. Okay, so uh, you're gonna have to pull back a little bit here, Matt, because I want to show you a, a little uh, control here. This is the the um, rocker switch for um, volume. Actually, you know what? Probably better off if I take my little thingy off here to demonstrate this. So let's go back here, put it back on. So uh, my rocker switch, of course, is designed to you know to change the volume setting. Up and down, up and down. But notice if I am at full volume here and I push de the down volume, I can actually, if I hold it long enough, it'll actually auto mute. So I go up, and I want to go quickly go and mute, hold it down. There you go. Yeah, just hold it a little bit longer. And that seems to be one of the, the key things with this is just hold things a little bit longer and it does something different. That's the, the, the secret to the advanced tips, right? Mm -hmm. So there you go, see? Quick, quick auto mute. I quite like that function. All right, your turn. Right. Well, one of the things that the, uh, these uh, devices really excel at is video. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the nice things about uh, this is you have a really quick way to go full screen. So if you're in uh, a web page like butterscotch.com and you're viewing a video in the little window here, if you want to view it full screen, you just flick it. Hey. Flick it open like so. And there you go. Now you have it full screen. And flick it back into the page like that. Like, like that. And when you turn it sideways, you'll get it even bigger full screen with a little bit of glare there. But uh, yeah, you do have the ability to flick it in and out just by using your, your fingers like that. Very clever. Good stuff. So, there you go. All right. Quick and easy. You know how on the web when you uh, are filling out a form, you, uh, let's put it sideways. So when you're filling out a form, right, and you want mm -hmm. it to autofill, yes. know, because you've typed something in before. Well, that's been uh, something that I've always wanted on a device like this. And it turns out it is available inside the web browser on Safari, which is mm -hmm. com comes pre-baked. So like the, usernames and Usernames, passwords, stuff like that. So like the that. way you get to that feature is you click on over to, you want to go to your settings here. Right? You can fire up settings. Down on the left-hand side, you want to go down to Safari, which is right here. I'm going to click on that. So Safari. And there's an option in here, Autofill, which... Uh, there's actually really cool, some really cool stuff if you dig in through these menus. Currently, autofill is off, as you can see. If I touch it there, I have an option to actually capture names and passwords just by toggling this on here. Uh, I can actually in, in, enter my uh, user, my contact info too for other forms and things like that. Turn that on. Um, and then if you decide you know you want to create some privacy and you want to get, erase it all, then just use the clear all button and it is clear. So there you go. Autofill on the iPad. Great. Happy, happy, fun. So. One more for you from, yeah. from this end. So when you're uh, playing around in, in a web page that has a lot of content on it, and you notice that on our page here, we've got, you can scroll way down and get to videos down at the bottom here. One trick on pages like this, and this doesn't, not just in web pages, but on any app that has this, mm -hmm. long pages that you can scroll, scroll, scroll. Mm -hmm. To get to the top of any of these, you just double tap the, uh, the clock at the top. Mm. of the, the page and away you go. It takes you right back to the very top. So double tap and away you go. There you go. Quick and easy. So if you're, if you're lost and you don't want to sit there going rrr, 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 scrolling your way back up to the top, that's the way to do it. Very cool. Very cool. All right. And finally, uh, last but not least, actually two things here. Uh, uh, this is, um, I'm going to show you actually how to uh, hard reset the iPad so that even if it gets, if it hangs, which doesn't happen very often, but occasionally it does, you want to do a hard reset on it so that you can do a fresh boot on it. Uh, you actually hold this key uh, down the power button and you touch the menu button down here. Now mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it right away because before I do that, I want to show you what the, under the feature there. This button, if you do it quickly, if you hold this down and hit, hit the oh, bottom shit. button, that's actually screen capture. Yes. Which is a kind of fun little feature. So if you go back into your photos here, you can actually see that I've captured my screen yes, using okay. that function there. And now you can 
hit the icons and nothing really happens on them. If you want to go and mess with your friend. Mind, mind you, when, when you use the iPad, nothing really happens on it a lot of the times. But the other, the other feature for those two buttons is, uh, is again, as I said, it's auto, re auto reboot or no, hard reset. But you want to hold the power button down with the menu button at the same time, like this. And you can see the slider, but keep holding it and a hard reset like that. And that's how you reset your iPad. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, uh, we've got a clip of the week for you as well as uh, pictures, right, Sean? Yes. That's after this. Well, now my iPad is rebooted. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, one of our uh, well, rebooting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you uh, don't what? want to do this lightly because it takes a while. It does take a while, exactly. Um, I want to talk to you a bit about a new series we have on Butterscotch.com called 60 Second App. And uh, it's a show where we take 60 seconds and we do a review of you know, one of the myriad of apps out there, thousands and thousands of them. We've done an iPad, we've done an iPhone, we've done Android, we've yes. done a couple of Blackberries. Stuff like that, or if we haven't, we are about to. Yeah, we will. Um, so, uh, so I did this uh, episode of 60 Second App coming up here. We're going to see a little clip of it uh, with the new uh, app from Wired Magazine on how you can take your Wired Magazine and uh, actually get it on your iPad. So let's take a look at that. Welcome to On Deck. I'm Matt Harris. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman. Welcome to the A-List. Hi, welcome to Miss Download. You can turn the pages, read the articles, and browse the ads. There's even a table of contents. But Wired has gone one better. The magazine now embeds video and interactive applications in its pages. On the cover of this issue is an exclusive clip from Toy Story 3. What's even cooler, though, is many of the ads are clickable. As well, some of the ads are interactive using the iPad's touchscreen. So if you want to see the whole uh, episode of that or any of the other 60-second apps we've done, check out uh, the entire library of those. Um, shows and episodes at butterscotch.com and, and for that plus a zillions of other pieces of video that we've done over the years I think we just topped 3,000 recently so uh, check it out. 16 kazillion. 16 kazillion. Yes. All right. There will be. Moving on to picture time. Uh, this week you have pictures of fabulous people from out there in Lab Rats Land? No. No? Yes you do. No? No? no. no pictures? We have pictures from fabulous people. Oh good. Okay. What so from Sharon who is in BC she uh, has a house that's, I guess, uh, close to nature, mm -hmm. and uh, she has visitors to her house. Oh, yes? Yes. Oh. So we, sheep. Yes, sheep. She's got sheep wandering around in her backyard. Yes. Nice. Both male, or both young sheep and With old spots, sheep. without spots. Yes. That's kind of cool. Dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear, dear. All right, well, if you want to send your pictures to uh, Lab Rats, you can email them too. <laughs> sheep at labrats.tv. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say more simply, but actually that's simpler. Uh, but you could also more formally send it to feedback at labrats.tv. There you go. Send your pictures to us. Make sure they're in a reasonable size. Don't make them too big. Don't make them too small. Otherwise, we won't show them. Um, I guess that's it this week. Uh, did you enjoy that advanced? Uh, you're like full of giggles. I especially love the part where you called this a sheep. <laughs> you look like a sheep initially. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for uh, watching this week. You know, it would be foolish for here showing off a sheep if you weren't out but taking pictures of sheep. My name's Andy Walker. I'm Sheep Carruthers. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Uh, are you ready? If you'd like to, uh, this is the wrong intro. Yes. Let's do it again. <laughs>